So I'm going to show you three ways you can fix the GTA 5 exited unexpectedly on Windows 10. And just let me know which one worked for you down below in the comments. Okay, so the first and most simple of ways of fixing the problem will be to verify the game integrity of your files. To do this, you want to go to Steam. Then you want to go ahead and right click on GTA 5 and click on properties. You then want to go ahead and click on local files and click on verify integrity of game files. This is basically going to create any files that are missing or corrupted or have been modified and it's going to restore them to the default value. This way you can guarantee that the game is going to run correctly. So the second method of fixing the GTA 5 crash is actually very simple but effective and it did actually work for me. So the first thing you want to do is go to this website here, there will be a link in the description. Then you want to go ahead and type in mf.dll and you want to go ahead and search for it. You then want to go ahead and click on the top one and download this DLL file. So once you've downloaded it, you want to go ahead and open it up. Then you want to go ahead to your GTA 5 library. Right click on GTA 5, click on properties. Then go to local files and click browse local files. You then want to go ahead and drag and drop the DLL file into this directory. And then you want to go ahead and launch GTA and this should fix the problem. So the third solution to this problem will be to completely uninstall and re-download GTA 5 properly. What do I mean by properly? Well, let me show you. So we're going to go to our Steam library, then you want to completely uninstall GTA 5 just like so. Now once GTA 5 is completely uninstalled, you then want to go back to the Steam library directory, and then the GTA 5 folder will still exist, but the contents inside it might not. What we want to do now is go ahead and delete this file, and then you want to go ahead and re-download GTA 5 like normal, and then go ahead and launch it, and this should again fix the problem to your error. You can always go back and repeat steps 1 and 2 again. And that is all the common solutions I have to fix the GTA 5 crash error. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any comments just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and have a good day.